Good morning, guys. Happy Monday. So you saw I just made myself some coffee. I picked up, I don't know, like a month ago, this Fettle Proteins Collagen Creamer in Mocha. Picked it up at a local grocery store. It was just a sample pack. Uh, I had never had any kind of flavored collagen before. Only had just regular flavorless collagen. And this is pretty dang good. It does have two net carbs. I don't know why um, the ingredients it says um, it has in there. Well, it just says other ingredients. I don't know where the main ingredients are. Well, that's kind of weird. Okay, well, it says um, coconut milk, organic coconut milk powder, uh, mocha, natural mocha, natural cocoa, and then an organic bamboo shoot extract and organic I ICC fiber. I don't know. Anyway, it's really super good. It tastes fabulous, you guys. Um, but I'm still not going to shell out the money that it probably costs for the vital proteins. I'm going to see maybe, though, if I can find another kind of collagen creamer that has, you know, good quality ingredients in there. And that's flavored. I may try to look for that. Um, but this is really good, so I'm going to finish drinking this. Get my lunch together. I'll show you what that looks like, and then we will chat later. Okay, so... For snack today, I have a couple of those roll-ups with the Lebanon bologna and a pepper jack cheese stick, hard-boiled egg. So that'll be my nice low-carb, high-protein snack, high-fat also. Um, for lunch today, I'm going to be having some lettuce wraps. So I just have some romaine lettuce here. I have some avocado that I will dice up at work. This is some of that blackened chicken from Tyson that I got at Costco. And then some bacon. So this is about three of those strips cut up, so it's one carb. And I will heat this up and put them in my wraps, and then I have some tomato to go on top of that. And then this is my homemade ranch dressing. And you guys will see my meal prep video. Actually, it's up by the time you see this video, so you'll see me put all this together. But I will show you guys when I eat this for lunch. I'll put a little clip in and how these look when they're all assembled. Finishing up this coffee here. I have this coffee to take on my way to work. The coffee is this strawberry cheesecake from Bones. If you guys have not tried Bones, I do have a link down below in the description box. Really good, strawberry cheesecake is one of the best that I have tried. And then I have a cotton candy bang, which I will have later on today. So I'm gonna put all this in here and I will talk to you guys probably at lunchtime. So for dinner tonight, we are having chicken pot pie. So first I wanna make the topping for it. I'm just doing a, a basic drop biscuit recipe. So in my bowl here, I am adding in some almond flour. This is one and a half cups of almond flour. And then to that, I'm adding in one tablespoon of baking powder. And then a half of a cup of sour cream, two eggs, four tablespoons of butter that's melted, but you let it kind of cool down a little bit so it doesn't scramble the eggs up. And then I'm making this a savory topping, so I'm adding in a half of a cup of shredded cheese, um, some chives, some garlic powder, and then also some onion salt. So this drop biscuit recipe works best if you let the batter sit. So I even let it sit whenever I'm making biscuits out of this. So I wanted to do the same thing with this pot pie. So that's why I'm making this first. That way it can just kind of sit and hang out while I make the filling and get everything else ready for the pot pie. And you guys, this is a fabulous drop biscuit recipe. So I highly recommend this. I use it all the time. I make it at least once a week. So as you guys know, I do work outside the home, so I always do a lot of prepping. So I already had meal prepped all the ingredients for this. So I have some celery, some onion, some steamed broccoli, and then I'm using radishes in place of potatoes. So I have those chopped up. I have some rice cauliflower that I steamed. I have some minced garlic, and then I have some chicken I just cooked up in my Instant Pot for about 15 minutes. Um, I have some heavy cream, some onion salt, some chicken stock, and then some xanthan gum. So those will be everything you need for the filling. So in a skillet here, I just have some melted butter and I'm gonna go ahead and saute up all the vegetables. So I'm just throwing also my minced garlic in the pan and I'm just gonna put in all the vegetables and just get them nice and um, sauteed up so they're nice and tender, especially the radishes. The longer you let them cook, the more they're gonna take on the flavor of it kind of give you the sense of a potato because they're gonna take on all the flavors of everything else. So I probably saute these up for about 15 minutes or so. And then also I added on my onion salt and then also some pepper to this while I was sauteing it up.
And once all the veggies are all done, then you wanna go ahead and add in your chopped up chicken. So I just diced it up and I'm just adding the chicken to the vegetables and then you wanna add in the chicken stock. Um, now at this point, I'm gonna wait to add in the heavy cream because I wanna get the chicken stock all thickened up. So I'm gonna add in a quarter teaspoon of the xanthan gum and I just like to sprinkle it right over the top, just right on top of it all. And then I'm gonna give that a good stir and go ahead and put the lid on it and let it um, get thickened. And it probably took only about five minutes to thicken up. And then once that starts to get nice and thick, I'm gonna go ahead and add in the rice cauliflower. I didn't add in that entire thing. I only added in about a half of a cup of rice cauliflower just to kind of bulk up the filling a little bit and add in a little bit more fiber and vegetables. And then I'm gonna add in my three quarters of a cup of heavy cream. I will have the full recipe down below in the description box where you guys can see the um, all the measurements and everything. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stir that heavy cream in. And then I'm gonna add in another quarter teaspoon spoon of xanthan gum on top of that so this part can get all nice and thick xanthan gum is fabulous i love this stuff but i do find that it works best if you just sprinkle it directly into the liquid whatever you're cooking so you want to go ahead and get let that cook for another probably about five to eight minutes or so to let it get nice and thick and then once you have the consistency that you're looking for, you don't have quite enough, you can always, always add in more xanthan gum. So, but I found that a quarter teaspoon for the stock and a quarter teaspoon for the heavy cream was perfect. And then I'm just pouring this into a baking dish that I have greased with a little bit of cooking spray. And then since I didn't know how these biscuits were going to work, this is this is the first, I'm this is an experiment, you guys. Um, I normally do just drop these biscuits directly into my pan and they don't really, they, they um, rise a little bit and they also kind of spread out a little bit. So I'm just gonna put these into scoops on top of my um, dish here and just see how that comes out rather than spreading it out. And then once you get um, all your, um, drop biscuit mixture on top here. Then you wanna go ahead and put this into the oven and bake it for about 20 minutes is what it ended up taking. And then when it comes out, as you can see, it is nice and toasty on top and it spread out perfectly. So this is definitely, I would definitely recommend doing the scoop method for sure. You guys, this turned out fantastic. I was very, very pleased with this recipe. Like I said, it was just an experiment. Um, as you can see here, it just, it's a fabulous meal. I paired it with a side salad and put some of my homemade ranch dressing on top and the radishes were a nice surprise and very, very, very good.